Wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me in the studio to talk about WordPress themes. One of the first things you'll want to do on your WordPress site is explore and change your theme. The theme dictates how your page will look, where the images go, what color your text is, the size of your fonts, the, the type of fonts, on and on and on. Some themes even have theme options, which lets you change how it looks in a bunch of different ways. Themes are totally easy to install, use, and easily allow you to switch from one link to another, excuse me, one look to another without losing all of your content. Themes run the gamut from basic, which is where you start, to complex. Depending on how deeply you want to get into it, you can have a theme that has a ton of different options and settings, or you can have one that's pretty basic. The standard themes that come with WordPress are usually fairly simple, and that's where we'll start. However, at some point, you're going to want to check out premium WordPress themes from companies like WooThemes and ThemeForest.net. They often charge for their themes, but it may be worth it to you. Even if you would rather not hassle with premium themes right now, and I totally get that, they are fun to look at for their wonderful design ideas. It really can help you figure out, I wonder what my website should look like. Here's a piece of advice, though. There's always a better theme out there. In other words, you can suck up a lot of time changing themes. If you enjoy doing this, awesome. But if it drives you crazy, you might want to stick with one of the basic themes, such as 2012. The sky is the limit. It'll be up to you. Oh, and don't be afraid to head to the WordPress theme section of WordPress.org to see all the wonderful free themes that are out there. Remember, there's always a better theme, so be careful or totally rock with it. Up to you. Thanks.